Hey everybody, it's Jeanette and we're going into week four of April's weight loss goals. And my goal this week was to get under 165 pounds. And this morning I weighed at 164. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but I will say this week wasn't a weighing week. And it usually takes a couple of days for my weight to kind of regulate. So I'm really uh, excited about next week and seeing what um, my weigh-in will be um, at um, my next uh, video weekly weight loss update. And um, I also, this month, was aiming to run three miles nonstop because I have done that. Um, and uh, I want to do it again just to, you know, to do it. It's just a goal I have for myself. And um, I didn't run that much this week. I kind of focused on circuit training. I really, really love circuit training because the, the workouts are intense and I can get what I want out of my workout. It, it's high intensity and the time is very short. It's a short time and I can go about my day and get other things that I need to get done, done. So um, I will start um, trying to incorporate more running um, this week. However, I still have um, time to, uh, uh, you know, achieve that goal of running the three miles. So I'll be working towards that. And um, this week, I also um, uh, have some news for you all. I posted links on both of my pages. Um, uh, I was featured as the fitness competitor for the week um, on WHUR 96.3, which is home of the Steve Harvey Morning Show. And um, I was featured on Fitness Friday, so if you want to, you can go to either Refusing to Fail, Jeanette's Weight Loss Journey, or my personal page, Jeanette Call Antonio, and search for those links. I have them on the page. You'll probably have to scroll down uh, a bit because I do load things onto my pages daily. So um, that was very exciting. I was very honored um, to uh, be chosen for that. Um, I also had a speaking event um, yesterday at a church, and um, I'm really glad I got to share my journey with um, the crowd. I was very excited about sharing my, my journey, and um, I um, shared with them some of the background of what got me to the point of actually committing to getting the weight off and um, kind of, you know, the, the steps I took to uh, do that. And um, one of the main things I share with them was that there is something to be said about a made up mind. Once you make your mind up to do something, um, it is as good as done. You know, it really is as good as done. If you make the, the decision to do it and don't sway from it and stick to it and it's something that you are destined and determined to do, you will do it. And that brings me back to... Um, uh, a few things I wanted to cover, and I posted this on my on both my pages um, when I posted about me doing the, my weekly update video. Um, I wanted to co cover a couple of topics, and one of those topics would have to be power of choice. Um, we all have the power of choice, and some of us, um, I really don't believe, realize that we have a choice. We have a choice. And I say that because I was one of those people who did not exercise my power of choice. I let my circumstances dictate dictate what I could and could not do. And um, we all know it's not where you come from. It's where you're going or where you end up. And, um, and it has a lot to do with our choices. If you want, and it's not just with weight loss, it's with anything. If you want something, go after it. And um, if you want something in your life, you can have that. If you don't have it now, work towards it. If there's something you don't want in your life, you don't have to accept it. You don't have to deal with it. You don't have to accept being overweight. You don't have to accept um, not being financially stable. You might not be able to change those things right away, but you can do the things you need to to get to where you want to be. So I just wanted to um, share a little bit about the power of choice because I want everyone to know that you have a choice. It is a choice. I made a conscious decision and choice to um, change my life um, with getting the weight off. And I'm still to work, working towards my goal. And that brings me to the next thing I want to cover. Tune people out. 
who are trying to decide where you should be physically. Tune them out. This is not about them. This is about you. If you want to be a size six, that's your business. You can do that. That's your choice. If you don't want to be a size six, you want to be a size 16, that's your choice. That is your business. That's what you want to do. That's what you want. That's what you desire. Because I hear so many stories, and I've experienced it myself, where people will tell you, you really shouldn't lose anymore, or you really should put on some weight, or whatever they have to say. And um, some people who don't realize they can tune them out and exercise their own power of choice will do what others suggest basing their choice and decision on what someone else says. Don't let what someone else says dictate where you end up. I have personally met someone who said, everybody said I was too thin, I gained this weight, and I don't like it. Did not gain it because she wanted to gain it. She gained it because of what everyone else said and who's unhappy. She is. This journey is not about anyone else. It's about you. Of course, it would have, it's going to affect people in your life. If you're improving your health, it, that's going to be a positive change. It's all about you. I, I keep hearing people say, yeah, my boyfriend doesn't want me to lose weight. He doesn't want me to get too thin. Your boyfriend does not have to live in your body. You do. When those health issues and those health conditions come up, you're going to have to deal with them. You're going to have to deal with the personal, intimate effects of those illnesses so like I said you have the power of choice know when to tune people out continue with your goals for April we have to finish off strong we have one more full week to um, achieve the goals that we set out at the beginning of the month and I'm sure that we will do them um, just keep working on it. You don't have to do everything all at one, once. You can take it one step at a time, whatever is going to be feasible for you and something that you can you know, stick with. That's the main thing, sticking with it. A lot of people can't stick with things because they try to do too much too soon. In any event, if you want to um, talk about your, some of your goals or some of your successes so far in the month, you can leave a comment below or you can send me a message here or you can send me a message at refusing to fail at gmail.com or you can go to my personal page Jeanette call antonio and send me a message or you can send me a message on my weight loss page refusing to fail Jeanette's weight loss journey so until we speak again next week when i do my update hopefully i will be out of the 160s if not that is perfectly okay i'm, I'm perfectly fine with that um, until then, we're going to work towards um, getting where we want to be. Um, so I'll see you guys soon. Have a healthy and happy week. Bye.